In this video, I wanna talk about the form trigger available in N8N because they actually just updated it recently. And I wanna talk about it because uh, before, if you wanted to be able to make a nice looking form, what you had to do is you had to get your, your webhook here, you grab your webhook, you'd go to your website, and then you'd have to input it into your website and change the HTML on the website code itself in order to be able to make the page look nice, in order to be able to do this. So if I actually come over here, let's go ahead, is this, a, this is live, so I'll grab the production URL, we're gonna come over here, open a new tab. And so this is what the N8N forms generally look like. So if you're doing a human in the loop, um, often it'll, it'll open up a form like this, or if you have a form input, this is what it looks like. And I'll admit, this is kind of lame. You know, it's all white and there's nothing to it. And it's just this orange button. You can get rid of the, uh, the N8N attribution. So if you come down here to add option, you can pick the append N8N attribution, turn it off. So at least you can do that. Um, but all you really were able to do is you can change the headline, the form description. So you have this and this, you can change the, the names, you can change what words appear kind of subtly in the box. Uh, but there wasn't really all that much else you were able to change. But they recently just updated this. And so now you have the ability, if you come down to options, all right, come down to options, you're gonna pick custom form styling. All right, so it's gonna be under options, it's gonna be called custom form styling. You can now actually add in the CSS and HTML code right here in order to be able to make this look nice. So if I come over here, I'm gonna grab my production URL, and I just threw this through ChatGPT really quick. Um, I'm not particularly techy myself, so I asked it to make something, it put it in here, and we'll see what it did. So uh, we come in here, paste that in, and Boom, we get we got something that kind of pops. It's got kind of subtle color in the background and you can change that. We got a different color font. It's got this kind of like uh, gradient line under it. It changed the file, the style of the font. Um, we got some bold font here and this button, look, the button hovers on, if you, uh, it lifts up on a hover and it's got that nice like sheen thing that goes across it with the gradient. So now you don't have to worry about going in and kind of coding your website. You're able to actually just be able to make really nice looking forms right within N8N and use this as your landing page. And in fact, I have this little box back here. I wasn't able to figure out how to get it to work, but I didn't spend too much time. Uh, I asked N8N to, or uh, ChatGPT to create a logo chip and it's in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, inputs somewhere down here, primary button, optional logo chip right here. So you have the ability to put in your logo. I don't know if it worked. I did try to get it to work, but uh, you know it, it might. So uh, if you're able to figure that one out, please let me know how you were able to do it because I wasn't able to, but it is able to create additional elements on the page that would not have otherwise existed that you can then fill out and add stuff to. So it's really cool that you're able to be able to create nice looking forms now. They'll be able to match your brand colors. If you're able to figure out how to get the logos on here, then you have your logo on here instead of N8N's logo and use this as your landing page. Um, if you're self-hosting, you're able to create your own domains and have your, your forms point right to it. So really cool addition that they added in to the form trigger. I've covered this in another video of uh, the, the different triggers video, which I have a link in the description below for and um, it was not able to do this back then. So uh, something that I'm gonna definitely looking into when I'm gonna be building out landing pages for myself is how to be able to use these stylized forms that then create a process that I'm able to build out of rather than having to build it into say my, quick, my ClickFunnels website. So hopefully you found this video helpful. It's a nice little quick tutorial that uh, um, an update that N8N did. If you like this video, Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. It really does help get this information out there. Um, we'll tell you that um, it did take me a couple times. I don't want to. I don't want to like beat around the bush on this one. It did take me a little bit of time to try to get Ch ChatGPT to uh, to do this better. Uh, Claude might have been better. I did not use Claude on this, um, but Claude has the N8N documentation built in, so it, it would probably know that it, what it can and is not able to do here. Uh, so just be aware of that. 
And uh, if you want additional tutorials, if you want a ton of free workflows, please make sure to subscribe, or not subscribe, but uh, go to my, my school community. Links in the description below, my free school community. Everything's for free. All my tutorials are there. All of my workflows are there uh, that I have on YouTube. If you want my advanced workflows and my advanced training courses, if you want access to me to be able to help you build in these tools into your business, then you gotta join my advanced community. I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. Uh, you get me five times a week. You get hours and hours and hours of classes and training. You get access to my Roger 3.0 executive assistant. Really cool stuff available in the advanced community. And um, I look forward to seeing you all there. As always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.